Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a lemon poppy seed cake with a cream cheese icing. This is probably one of my favorite summer recipes and it's super easy to do as always. If you are a citrus lover, you will love this recipe, so let's get started. Combine a cup and a half of all-purpose flour with a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. You're also going to add about four tablespoons of poppy seeds, or a little extra if you'd like. While the poppy is optional, I would highly recommend it. In a separate bowl or cup, combine a third cup of milk with the juice of one lemon. This yields about two to three tablespoons of lemon juice. Make sure the lemons are fresh. You're also going to trickle in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. The mixture might clump slightly, but that's totally normal. In yet another bowl, you're going to cream together a half cup of unsalted butter at room temperature with one cup of granulated sugar, and then crack in two whole eggs. For that lemon scent and flavor, you're going to add in two tablespoons of lemon zest. This is fresh, of course. At this stage, you want to work in as much air into the batter as possible so that your result is a nice fluffy cake. Now I'm going to alternate that milk mixture with the flour poppy seed mixture, and I like to do this in three batches. This just ensures that everything gets incorporated completely, and it's a lot easier as well. You'll be left with a beautifully thick, lemony yellow batter. Pour the batter into your thoroughly greased and prepared baking pan. This can make about 12 muffins, one 8 inch cake, which is what I am doing, or a loaf. Bake the cake for 35 to 45 minutes or until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. You can find the full detailed recipe on my blog at hotchocolatehits.com. In the meantime, we can prepare the lemon syrup. Combine a quarter cup of fresh lemon juice with a quarter cup of granulated sugar. Dissolve this mixture over heat. I like to do this in the microwave, stirring after every 15 seconds or until the mixture has completely dissolved to yield a clear liquid. While the cake is still warm, spoon atop that lemon syrup and let it absorb all of the liquid. This will result in a really juicy and very lemony cake. Let the cake cool completely and we can get started on the frosting. Beat together a quarter cup of soft unsalted butter with 100 grams or four ounces of cream cheese. Trickle in the juice of half a lemon, which is about a tablespoon and a half. Now I'm adding in half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And you're going to add in two cups of confectioner's sugar a little bit at a time until the icing is thick and very smooth. When the cake has had a chance to cool, you are ready to unveil it. Run a knife through the edges of the pan to make this easier. Now you can lather atop that snow white mass. I like to keep things simple by generously frosting a single layer. To emphasize the star of the show, garnish the cake with fresh lemon slices. Here's a little poppy seed meal, because why not? Around this time of year, flowers are everywhere in my backyard, so I like to finish the cake with a couple freshly picked flowers as well. And now you are ready to dig in. This cake makes the perfect tea time dessert. It's packed with that citrusy tang, but it carries this flavor in a very elegant way. All the flavors marry together beautifully, and this is the perfect cake in every single way. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below telling me what you thought. Subscribe for more recipes like this. And as always, the full recipe is available on my blog at hotchocolatehits.com, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.